What's up guys, I'm Eric Lee and you're watching 31 and Counting. And if you're new to this channel, what we like to do is unbox and review products to see if they're hot or if it's hype. Uh, today is no different. Today we're gonna be looking at our old friends, Dr. Squatch. Now these are two uh, new products that I, I'm just testing out for the first time over the last few months. Uh, so I haven't done a review on these yet, unlike the soap. So if you're interested in seeing the soap stuff, uh, put a link up there and you can check out what kind of soap that Dr. Squatch has to offer and my thoughts on that. But this time we're gonna be looking at the shampoo and the conditioner. Check it out. So, uh, first thing I think I, I should go back uh, when I first got these and we unboxed them so you can get some preference because I did not, I didn't order these. I didn't go out looking for this product. Uh, I was content with the soap itself. So uh, Dr. Squatch sent me a package. I didn't know what was in it. I really thought it was gonna be like the Star Wars uh, theme soap, which you know had me kind of excited. Uh, but I ended up getting a, a plethora of other things that uh, I probably wouldn't have normally bought, uh, but I'm glad I got them, because then I can do a review on them and uh, just something different. So let's let's go to that unboxing real quick. What's up guys? So it's been a while since I've done an unboxing for uh, Dr. Squatch, but the time for waiting is officially over. I have a I have a new package just delivered. And I'm interested to see some of the new products, just like you guys are, that Dr. Squatch has been putting out lately. Lately they've been really stepping their game up and uh, coming out with some limited time releases and they sent me this box so this is going to be a video that is uh is sponsored by dr squatch oh they sent me a bunch of goodies okay so this is a soap saver uh this one right here is oh look at that so this is shampoo I like the boxing. The, the packaging is pretty nice. You know, they've they've always been really good at marketing and uh, packaging as well. But so like they really step in their game up. So this one's pine tar, which is a uh, is box different than it had been in the past. Like they really just playing with what they're doing and just changing things around. I have not had this grapefruit IPA before. Normally I stick to what I know. I order the same stuff every time. I know I'm very predictable. Uh, this goat milk one, it's pretty solid. Uh, I always hear really good reviews about this one too. Uh, still something I, I normally just stick to like nautical sage and, uh, wow. What's this one? Okay. Let's, let's see what else is in the box. So that's, that's everything that's in the box for now. Uh, I, I really was hoping they was going to send me some of the other exclusive, uh, since that they had just got in one was like, um, uh, was related to Star Wars, which I was very interested in getting, but it sold out uh, around the same time this package came. So I was hoping I had one of those and uh, in the box. Okay, so this goes over some of the ingredients. Let's zoom in just a little bit. So there's some of the ingredients listed here. As you can see, there's oat protein, uh, honey, a bunch of oils and different stuff. And they say if you can read all the ingredients in the back, which I can read like 90% of these. <laughs> I'm pretty smart. I could, I could probably pronounce 90% uh, of these. Uh, but this is all still all natural uh, shampoo. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Dr. Squatch, as you guys know. It's probably one of the, the videos that really, re oh, this is conditioner. Okay. Actually, I need to really test this one out. Uh, cause I, I'm out of condition right now and I have locks. So this is something that I'll well, come sealed too. I like doing a good job up here, man. Keeping us safe. So yeah, uh, I have locks. So normally I'm very particular about what I put in my hair. So I'm really interested in probably doing a, a follow-up review about what's in this bottle. Uh, I see how that works for guys with, you know, Box. So that was a quick look at everything that came in a box. And like I said earlier, I was going to do, uh, you know, if you guys voted and a lot of people ask about what I thought about the, uh, the conditioner and the shampoo. Now this is a shampoo is a little smaller than the conditioner. Thank God. Uh, because 
Okay, before I give my opinion on this, I want to start off by saying, take the time to like, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. It's absolutely free, and it helps the channel a lot. Uh, you can give it thumbs down, thumbs up. Uh, preferably thumbs up, because the thumbs down don't really show me if you like the video or not. Um, but getting back to the shampoo and conditioner. I have uh, locks, obviously. You guys can see these pretty, pretty locks. But my hair, in general... It's, uh, it's fairly dry, especially as we go into this winter time. It's getting really cold. My hair dries out super fast. Uh, I don't know if it's because I work out a lot or whatever, but I normally have really dry hair. So I'm really, uh, really conscious about what kind of products I put into my hair. So I don't use a lot of different kinds of shampoos. I keep it pretty simple. The stuff that works, I normally buy a lot and in bulk. So when it came to trying out this Dr. Squatch soap, uh, this shampoo, I was kind of hesitant, uh, but I, at first I was just going to use it on my beard, but why not give it a full, perfect review uh, and just really put my time into using it. So I've used it about four times now, and consistently I would have to say, uh, even though it's all natural, it's a little strong for me. So it dries out my hair uh, that's already pretty dry, and uh, I, really don't, I really don't get the best use out of this. So for me, this doesn't work. And maybe, like I said, like I want the preference that my hair type is really dry. Like my scalp will get dry. I'll end up with dander if I really don't take care of it properly. And so something that's this strong probably is not a good fit for anybody who shares those same kind of, uh, you know, dilemmas with their hair. But it does. It smells really good. It gets your hair really clean. So if it's really dirty, this works. But if your hair is just a little dirty and your hair is, your scalp is prone to being really dry... I would say, you know, maybe if you want to just try it, try it, but this is not my primary soap. I'm going to use the shampoo, uh, you know, until it runs out because I'm not wasteful. But I just, I can't rock with this on a long term. Uh, but it does, it gets the job done, but it's a little, just, just a little too strong. Now, on the flip side, the shampoo. The shampoo's smacking, baby. It works. I mean, it's shampoo. What was that shampoo? Okay. It, Sorry, let's run it back. The conditioner is smacking. It is good. This is good. Uh, so if you say your hair is only a little dirty and you want to do a cold wash, I've done that with this too. Uh, I'll leave, normally I like start off, I'll wash my hair in the shower and then I'll switch to the conditioner and then I'll do the, wash my whole body. You know, so it kind of sets in for a little bit of time. And when I'm done, I rinse it out. My hair is feeling good. So whatever this took out of my head, this was putting back in there. But still, this was too strong. So I would rebuy the conditioner itself uh, just because I've had a really good experience with it. Uh, the natural stuff is always popping for me. But also the scent. Like this is cool citrus. I don't know if you can see that, but it smells good. I get compliments. My wife's not a creep, but sometimes she's like, here smells pretty good. I think that's her telling me that, you know, thank God you took a shower. <laughs> so, uh that is my honest review about this. Like, I wasn't paid for none of this stuff, but these products were sent to me, and, uh, you know, they weren't something that I normally would buy. So, I would give it just, I guess for this, I'm going to give it, like, you know, an a 8 out of 10. And it's probably a 10 out of 10 for some people who hair is, like, really oily and they really need to get it clean, clean. This will probably work out really great for you. But for me, uh, the winner of this is really the conditioner. It is a 10 out of 10. I will try again, buy again. So this isn't hype. This is this is really hot. This is debatable. <laughs> uh, but if you have any other questions or any other products you want to see me review, I'm really trying to step my game up this year. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm Eric Lee. You're watching 31 Accounting. We out.